Miss, you look stunning. Who's the lucky guy? My husband. His name's Blake. I love it, I love it, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's just a ring. It's everything. Well, your husband's a lucky man. These pictures are perfect for renewing your vows. Oh, no. They're for my funeral. Oh, no. They're for my funeral. Adeline, stage four cancer is no joke. We need to begin treatment right away. It's too late for me. Does your husband know? Where is that asshole? I can't tell him. Promise me. You won't tell Blake. Swear it! I don't have long to live. I'm sorry, miss. That's... <sighs> A photo shoot? Are you kidding me? I've been calling you. You need to get dressed. Your sister needs blood. Rebecca's not my sister. How ungrateful can you be? You're living the life that she wanted. The least you could do is keep her from dying. I'm the one who's dying. Please don't make me give her any blood. I really don't feel well. You say that every time. We're going now. No, I don't want to. You don't want to? I didn't want to marry you, but yet here we are. You trapped me using your blood. So as long as you're still breathing, you do exactly what I say. Don't you ever forget it. Now go. Begin the transfusion. Mr. Rhodes, your wife seems a little weak. She's fine. Rebecca's life depends on it. You value Rebecca's life so much, but mine means nothing. Was I really just nothing to you in the past three years? Do you ever even love me? You have to help, Rebecca. Adeline, only you can. I don't know, it's my body and... Your sister needs your kidney, she's gonna die. Do you not understand that? Please. Only you can. I'll do anything. Anything. Okay. Okay? I'll give her my kidney if... if you marry me. Alright. I'll marry you. Just keep Rebecca alive. He loved me. At some point. We were good ones. You waited for me to wake up. Good, you're back. We're back and needs more blood. I can't give her any more blood, Blake, can't you see? Listen to me, Adeline Rhodes. You chose this when you took my last name. <laughs> you forced it on yourself. When are you gonna let that go? Was I not a good enough wife to you? I'll let it go when you're dead, Adeline. <laughs> Mr. R Rhodes, Miss Miller is awake. Remember what I said. You'll get what you wished for soon. Blake, I'm dying. Should've been an Oscar for playing sick. <laughs> that sneaky bitch Adeline always trying to steal my act. for fainting again. It must have been so annoying for you and Adeline. Don't ever apologize for your sickness. Adeline agreed to give you whatever you need for your health. Those were her terms. 
Will she give me blood again? She hates doing that, my poor sister. Well, she is just the daughter of a mistress. I still feel bad. Forget about her. You're looking better. I'll talk to the doctor and get you released. Wait, Blake. Where is Adeline? Is she okay? Maybe I should go check on her. <coughs> Blake? Doctor? Anyone? Help. I need help. Nice try, sis. Get out of my room. Well, it's been three years and I still can't get you out of Blake's life, so... No. I'm not going anywhere. <coughs> oh, drop it already. Nothing you do is going to make Blake love you. I should be saying that to you. Take all my blood if you want. You won't take my husband. You bitch. Blake was supposed to be my husband. Giving me your kidney doesn't change the fact that you're just a bastard kid with a whore mother. Don't talk about my mother. What's going on? Blake! She pushed me out of my ankle. Oh. What's wrong with you? What's oh. wrong with you? Maybe I tripped. I don't know. Mm? Your sister's first thought out of getting her out of recovery is to come check on you and you want to push her? Do you have a single ounce of kindness in your body? She's faking it! She's not even sick. Can't you see that she's just manipulating me? Don't say that about Rebecca. Not when you're the one that manipulated me into this marriage. So it's true. This marriage means nothing to you. Blake? You're scaring her. She didn't mean it. I'm hungry. What are you craving? Mm, I would kill for some pasta. Pasta it is. Oh, what about Adeline? She'll figure it out. <coughs> Can't you just pretend to love me? Just for a day before I go? Why didn't you call me? I had to find out through the nurses that you were here. Dr. Brad, I didn't want to worry you. Worry? Of course I'm worried. You shouldn't be giving blood out in your state. Are you crazy? I don't have a choice. A choice? Of course you do. Leave him. Addie, look at me. I'm just not your doctor. I'm also your friend. And I'm not gonna sit here and watch you throw your life away. You start treatment now. Throw what life away? This life? You're the doctor. What is the chances that I make it through this treatment? In this particular situation, since you've already donated your healthy kidney, um, less than 10%. I don't want to spend the last few months of my life in pain. I just want Blake to love me. Here you go. Spaghetti Pomodoro, your favorite. <laughs> What's wrong? Is the pasta all right? No. Pass is fine. Can't believe Adeline's cheating on me. Why is he thinking about that bitch again? Well, are you sure she is? I mean, her texting some doctor and sneaking out to who knows where when you're at work is pretty suspicious. But, you know, maybe she's just dying and hiding it from you. <laughs>
Did you text him? Yeah. Um, I'll make dinner. No, she's definitely cheating. Where are you going? What are you hiding from me? Nothing. What? Don't say what. You heard what I said? Does she hate me this much? <laughs> what were you gonna tell me? <laughs> Seriously. I'm off. Wait, no. You're not sleeping at home tonight. Why would I? Your sister needs me and... You don't seem to want me here. No, I do. I just. Cut the crap. 